Hello everyone, we have come across logging in .NET Core previously and are aware how important logging is for understanding the flow and investigating bugs as they give a clear picture of what is going on when the code is getting executed on the server. Now in addition to the error, warning, info logs, which we have discussed previously, in case if we want to log the request and response, which was received by the application, Microsoft provides a very handy middleware which can be used to log the HTTP requests so that we can get clearer picture of what was requested in case we are investigating an issue of a general information as well. Here, we also need to make sure that our application does not have APIs which handle sensitive information as input. Because if that is the case, we need to make some tweaks so as to not log those information which is anyway coming as part of requests. But in today's example, we have a very simple application, which is the default application when we create a new web API project. We make a request, we get the weather forecast in response. Now let's add HTTP logging middleware and see what gets added to the console. So if we try to run this application by default, if I go ahead and try out this API, this is the response which I get and this is the console. There is nothing getting printed in the console as of now. We go here, we go to the programs class. Here we need to add just one simple middleware which is the HTTP logging middleware. Once we have added this middleware, we will also need to go to app settings and enable that particular logging for information logs. Now if we go ahead and run the application again, here we can see initially when the Swagger document was requested, we can see the info getting logged, wherein the path Swagger slash index dot HTML was requested. Now if I go ahead and request the weather forecast API again, we can see these are the logs which are getting printed. So here we can get to know that the request with which protocol the request came, the method, the scheme, the path of the request, the accept, host, which from where the request was made and the user agent. And we also get the information about the response. So for example, the response which went was with status code 200, as we can also verify from the Swagger document. So this is the status code, the content type, and the date, and from which server the response was sent back. So this is the way in which the request and response information can be logged by using this simple middleware which Microsoft provides by default. We need to add it in our request processing pipeline with app.use HTTP logging. And in addition to that, in the app settings.json, we need to add the entry for HTTP logging middleware and the log level will be for all the information logs. I hope this was a helpful video. Thank you.